Hey guys, this is the Super Review Show for this review of the Daredevil teaser trailer. Woo! Can't wait. Um, I saw the teaser uh, about an hour ago, and truly, the teaser was the 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 best word I can think of right now is dark. It's a lot darker than I thought it would be. I thought I thought it'd be oh, I'm Daredevil. I can get kind of like this combination of the a combination of Frank Miller and Stanley's work together. But what I got was mainly Frank Miller. I mean, the origin is still the same from the Stanley comic books. But the Daredevil that we saw in the teaser looks like a combination of the Frank Miller darkness along with the Stanley origin, the m morphed together, so to speak. Personally, I I really really enjoyed this teaser. I can't wait for April eleventh to see these episodes on Netflix, and. I was a bit surprised by it. the last shot in the teaser was blood because you know, Disney owns Marvel and Marvel owns the Netflix shows. The Netflix on the is renting out the characters to do the shows, but Marvel still owns the characters. And since Mar Disney owns Marvel, I was expecting because let's face it, the Marvel the Marvel Cinematic Universe is more family friendly. Friendly. There's a lot more of a a lighter tone to some of the movies. Obviously, Iron Man 3 had some dark spots. Captain America was pretty, you know, kind of dark here and there, but overall, I mean, that was that was about it. I mean, I can't think of any other films besides maybe, maybe, yeah, that's when all the other films are pretty much light tone. I mean, even The Incredible Hulk was a bit of a light tone. I mean, it had a few dark, dark points here and there where like the Abomination stabs Hulk in the, um, in the chest, but that's, just, that's besides the point. The point is that the Daredevil teaser is awesome. I highly recommend for you, you, you to go check it out. And not only that, but I also, what I found most interesting was the, the tone, as I said before, was very dark. But it also gave me a, a narrative about where this series is going to go. Because it, it truly is really dark. And it, it shows the grittiness of Hell's Kitchen. Because back when the Frank Miller books were coming out and when the... Um, the earlier Frank, right before Frank Miller and his, and then Frank Miller stuff, um, those, um, those books were based on the real Hell's Kitchen in New York City, which was, people were getting murdered bit by bit, or shot at, or, well, you, you want to come at me, you know, stuff like that. I think that that's what this Netflix show has to, has some advantages to, and I also think that besides that, it's very dark. I also think that everything's going to work out together. And I recently read these Netflix shows, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage. I recently heard that, I read that, read up on this, I think it was, I think it was Screen Crush or Screen Air, one of the two, or, 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 or Collider, one of the other big websites, but Trusted Source. And they said, that this these Marvel Netflix shows would be in the same universe as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with Iron Man, with Thor, with Captain America, with the Hulk. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm shocked by them keeping it all in the same universe, but I think at the same time I think that's a great idea, because that way that opens up the door for, let's say, Agent Coulson from Agents of Shield, because he's tied into the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well with Agents of Shield. If he were to pop up in the Daredevil Netflix show, they would say, "Hey, you know, I heard you. Uh, maybe, maybe this is by the end of the, uh, the end of the uh, this first uh, out of these eleven episodes uh, he shows up, and he says, listen, Matt, I know about your secret. You do, really, and stuff like that.' They go on and on for about a minute, and he says, "I like to come work. I like you to come work for Shield. That that would be kind of cool. That would be introducing that grittiness into the Marvel universe. Because look, I mean, look." They all have their certain tone, but this is a darker tone that's being fit into this new, this already existing Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't know. I, a lot of questions have to be answered for this, but I, me personally, I believe that the Daredevil, Jessica Jones, if, if, because if Daredevil pr is showing with the Jessica Jones, Iron Fist, and Luke Cage stuff is going on, if Daredevil can lead the tone for those other three, and then those are the three, those four t in total tie into both the Defenders and Netflix show, which is the four episode arc where they all team up. 
and the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that means you have a, you can edge into the the slightly R-rated tone that Daredevil should be. as prime for something like that. And I don't, I don't think a lot of us realize this, but he is the Marvel Universe's Batman. Just, just, just think about that for a second. Daredevil is the Marvel Cinematic, the Marvel Universe's Batman. He's, he's got a similar origin with a family member dying. He had some accident happen to him that caused him to be this thing, and then he started working out and, you know, being the crap out of people. So that, that basically he is, and he was also that darker character, because when Frank Miller did his Daredevil work, and I, I know I'm going off on a rabbit trail, but just follow me here for a second. When Frank Miller did his Daredevil work, he, um, he just, he brought his, he brought his, flavor of darkness to the character to provide both sales and character interest in Daredevil. Now that also being said, he, then he did the dark, he did the Daredevil in the early 80s, maybe 81, 82, 83. And what happened was with that was that, um, what happened with that was that after Frank Miller left the Daredevil issues, he went into... Batman, he created probably the greatest graphic novel of all time. Sorry, Watchmen fans. It's The Dark Knight Returns. So basically, Daredevil grew into Batman, so to speak. I mean, that, that, that's just that's what, just what, kind of what happened. I mean, that, that that's also slightly my opinion on that, but please, feel, feel free to comment below about that, too. But yeah, that, that this is my... Yeah. So this is my review of the Daredevil teaser, uh, the teaser trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, for the Super Review Show... Keep it awesome.